All right, today we're checking out the Madden 24 ratings, seeing what the, how the Bucks are doing in terms of ratings. You know, there are certain players I think always get lower overalls than they, should, they deserve on the Bucks. But I am also very fair, so let's get right into it. All right, let's start with center. You got Jason, Humphrey, Lindsey, Rag, Ragno, and Ryan Jensen is fifth. It's pretty, pretty impressive at 87. Pretty solid uh, center. I like that. Let's go to corner. See where Jamel Dean and Carlton Davis are. So Jalen is number one. Jair second. Certain third. The typical guys we'd see up here. So Jamel Dean's the best Bucks corner at 85. Where's Carlton at though? Carlton Davis is at 81. So pretty good tandem of corners out there. I like that a lot. Alright, let's go see where Big Vita Vea is. He should be top five again. I don't see why he wouldn't. Wouldn't be. Alright, Chris Jones is the best defensive tackle in the game. At launch, Vita Vea is fifth. Okay, so 98. Anyone got stronger strength than Vita? Nope. Once again, Vita Vea is the strongest defensive tackle in the game. I like that. So two top five players on the Bucks in their position. Uh, free safety. Let's see where Mr. Antoine Winfield is. Mika Fitzpatrick, the best safety in the game. On the Steelers. Tom Matthew. Jesse Jesse Bates is a 91. Nice. Antoine Winfield is at 87. All right, so he's top 10 on our halfback. Who is the best running back at launch in the game? It's got to be Chubb. Okay, so it is Nick Chubb. Derek Henry drops at 94. Got him in the fourth spot. That's that's pretty pretty well. So Nick Chubb is number one. McCaffrey number two. Jacob is third. Derek Henry fourth. Saquon fifth. In the top rest of the top ten, how you would go. Jonathan Taylor could take a drop. Kenneth Walker. An 87. That's pretty, uh. That's pretty nice. Bijan Robinson, the 81 rookie. That's pretty aggressive. Todd Algier, who sh I feel like should have been higher, the 78, had a very impressive rookie season. Still no Rashad White though. But it makes sense because he didn't get that much playing time to be honest. Rashad White, 75. So tolerable. Who's the fastest? Jerome Ford at a 90. Really it's like no 99 speeds. Rashad White is top 10 at speed though. So we'll take that. Left end. Who we got? Demarcus Lawrence. Still at the top. Cam Jordan at 87. Chase Young at 85. Larry Smith at 85. So Aiden jumped up to an 81. Pretty solid. Alright. So rookie Kalasha Kansi is a 73. I don't expect that to be for long. And then Logan Hall is still at a 70. Left guard. So the GOAT. The GOAT Cody. Key Cody and 72. Left outside linebacker. Max Crosby is number one. TD1, Joey Bosa. Tom Riddick, Matthew Judon. All pretty solid people. Shaq Barrett down to an 80, which makes sense because he had a down year in my opinion. But let's hope he can come back. Left tackle. So Tristan Marsh is a left tackle now. Let's see where he, he laid lay out. Tristan Marsh, top four. Tied with third behind Andrew Th uh, Thomas, Tunsil, and Trent Williams. And then Teron Armstead is up there. That's fair. I'll take that. So the top ten in the position. Middle linebacker. So this is one I'm really curious about. Where is Levante David? He's third. The most consistent linebacker in history, probably, and he's third. But 
He was up there with the good guys. So, you know, you got Fred, you got Roquan Smith, DeMar Davis, Bobby Wag. Solid top five. Very good awareness. Very solid. So, where is Mr. Devin White? Did Devin White drop? He did. He dropped to a 79. He is the fourth fastest linebacker in the game, though. Troy Anderson's up there. 79, though, for Devin White. That's kind of. It's kind of low. Alright, big dog, quarterback. Who's the best QB in the game? It should be Pat, yep, Pat Mahomes. Joe Burrow is second over Josh Allen, which is nice to see. Lamar Jackson's fourth. Jalen Hurts is fifth over Dak Prescott, Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers. That's fair. I think this is a solid, uh, Top 10. Geno's an 81. The game some respect. Where is Baker? 72. Down here with Jacoby Brissett and Andy Dalton. So a little bit of work to do. But uh, overall, pretty fair. Fair rating. What did they put Trask at? Let's see. 59. Oosh. Right end. Aaron Donald, of course, Miles Garrett, Nick Bosa, Michael Parsons, and Von Miller. What a s stack right in thing. Grady Jarrett's an 86. As a Buccaneers fan and a rival of the Falcons, Grady Jarrett, Grady Jarrett should be higher. All right, let's with the right guard. Best right guard in the game is Zach Martin. Chris Lindstrom, second. Shaq's up there. So, right guard has a significant drop-off. You have two 90s and the rest of them are 80s. Matt is at 75. Right outside linebacker. Matt Milano on the Bills, 88. So right outside linebacker is kind of no 90s. Pretty, pretty spread out. Let's see where our, our guys are. Joe Tyron is a 74. Still in that 70 range, which is fair. Had had the massive impact we won't yet, but hopefully we'll get there. Right tackle. Luke we could go decky. That's a 66 right tackle. Our line is gonna be abysmal on Madden this year. Hopefully not in real life, but we'll see. Strong safety. There one James, best safety in the game, it's fair. Buda Baker, Harrison Smith, Jordan Poyer, Jamal Adams. Hafunga, big jump, 86. Where does he get a little respect? He was very good in the game. Alright, so Ryan Neal is at 81. Alright, down to the last two positions. Tight end, which is one of my favorite positions, and receiver. Travis Kelsey, of course, 99 club. George Kittle, Mark Andrews, TJ Hawkinson, Dallas Godert. Kyle Pitts at an 87. I don't know if he dropped or went up. It's hard to tell. But he's busted in the uh, 23 if you use him because if you use him, you can get him to 99 very quickly. John o. Smith to 74. K. Dotton, 73. You know, the effect that Rob Gronkowski had on the tight end room for the Bucks is very underrated. In terms of like the impact it did, like damaging. Yeah, I think when Rob came, LJ Howard's production got literally shafted. But it's all about perspective if you think he was worth the production. Um, and then Cam Break got put in the second. Which is fine. Cam Break's an awesome, awesome player. One of my favorite players for the Bucks ever. And it's sad to see him go. But, like, hopefully K. Dotton can fill that spot where Cam Brate was. Our right, best receiver in the game, Justin Jefferson. The only one is 99. Tyreek Hill, 98. Devontae Adams, 97. No Bucks receivers in the top 10. I think Mike Evans dropped to a 90. 12th receiver in the game. I don't know how I feel about that. Not a fan. Chris Godwin is at 86, so I think he went up. 
was so I was looking at best player on the team. It's Tristan Wirtz at a 92. I feel like Tristan Wirtz is very low, but it could be good the position change. It should be Levante David or Mike or Vita. It could be any one of those three. But the top 10 for the Bucks is pretty solid. Um, Tristan Wirtz, you know, the guy that I like to keep around on my franchises are all in the top 10. I can see the overall drop, though, because we didn't do that well last year. And then there's a huge drop-off between the young guys and then the vets. Like it goes straight from 79 down to the 75, 74s. So a lot of building to do. But I think we'll be all right. There is a, a trial coming with EA Play on August 15th if you want to check the game out. So Madden 24 looks pretty solid as a game. Uh, it still has a lot of more improvements that can be done. I'm not trying to, you know, give them props because they've been really bad for the, a long time. But the ratings for the Bucks have dropped a lot. It's kind of upsetting to see. Um, with that said, who was the, who do you think deserved the higher overall? Who's in the not a 99 club that should be? Who's in the 99 club that shouldn't be? And who do you think got really, really boned with the ratings this year? With that being said. This is Mad24. Please drop a like and subscribe. Give the video to 5 likes. It'll mean a lot and help out the channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.